the G-Men dominated in Saturday's SWAT Championship rematch. Grambling's defense showed why they're one of the best in the business. Don't move that mouse, we've got highlights and stats as we get into these stories and a whole lot more. Hope you're ready, GFN starts now. What's up, Graham fam? I'm Damian Ronalds, and welcome to GFN. Alcorn has always been a tough opponent for Grambling, but in recent years, they've proven to be one of Grambling's toughest opponents. For the last two years, the regular season matchup between Grambling and Alcorn has been a preview for that year's championship game. Now, it may be too early to tell whether or not this is a championship preview, but one thing is for certain. Once again, this matchup was the hottest ticket in the SWAT. Now, let's take a look at the GFN game day performance. All eyes were on Eddie Robinson Stadium as the Braves rolled into town. We pick up the action in the second quarter. Devontae Kincaid finds his man and lets it rip. 53 yards to Khalif Salmon. Grambling breaks the tie. On the return, Marquise Warford trying to return the favor. Shakes and bakes to get the Braves in great field position deep in Tiger territory. A few plays later, Lenora's footman fumbles the snap. DeAndre Hogue on the recovery. G-Men marches down the field. Kincaid finds Marquise Kegler with the 18-yard pass for the touchdown. Look at that catch. Kegler pulls it in under tight coverage. Third quarter. Noah Johnson in at QB for Footman. And here's Noah Johnson picked off again. This time it's picked off by Derek Shy. Shy takes it to the house. Derek Shy with a nice interception and 51 yard return for the TD. Fourth quarter. Grambling's defense came ready to ball. Malcolm Williams and friends in on the sack. Later on the same drive, fourth down and a chance to cut it to a two possession game. Alcorn goes for it. For receiver, knocked away at the last minute and picked up. What a catch. Pick. Jeterius Pouncey with a big time pick and nice return. Grambling couldn't convert on that drive and had the punt. Still down by 20, Marquise Warford on the return. Braves need to make something happen. Get low. And the ball is tipped. Grambling going to recover. Is that going to be a touchdown? Touchdown, Grambling. A fumble by the... At Robinson Stadium, Grambling beats Alcorn 41-14. to Kincaid put up pretty good numbers. He passed for 268 yards with three TDs for the day. On the ground, Martez Carter dominated. He rushed for 115 yards on 25 carries. He also picked up nearly 70 yards in receiving. Now, let's take a look at the GFN look forward. Next up, Grambling stays at home to face the Tigers of Texas Southern. Last year, Grambling had to overcome a 21-point deficit to beat them. The last time they beat Grambling was in 2013. And this is Grambling's homecoming, so have a fun and safe weekend. Join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember to tell a friend about GFN. I'm Damian Ronalds. Thanks for watching.